Welcome everybody. In this video, we'll be exploring the new features available to you in Alicad 8.2. In our drawing, we have now got the new ability to delete multiple layouts. As you can see, we've got the delete layout, delete selected layouts. Let's have a look. If we go and select all, and we can untick the ones we will still want to keep, we can then press OK. And we can then confirm that we'd like to delete. You'll be see now that multiple layouts have been deleted. You can also then select right click and you can say delete all layouts. And all that layouts once you've confirmed will be deleted as well. We now have the ability to search and select text with a certain word in it. Let's go and experiment with this. If we go to the option to locate the text, we can search with the word with a star behind it. So we'll choose basin with this word letter star. So any, any words with that word in it, any text with that word in it. If we press the select, it will now select those text for us, which we can then use. We can now import DGN mesh objects. Let's go and have a look. Just change the scale. And here you can see the object has come in. Can have a look in render view. We now have angle snap options in the drawing of radial and diametric dimensions. Let's go and have a look. I'm just going to choose the sense of this drawing. And you'll see now it's freehand. You can graphically select where you want it. If you check, click over to angle snap, you can then choose your angle in a 15 degree increments. We've got some new layer settings. We can go and click on the drawing. In the layer settings, if I, I can now add a new layer and it'll go right down to the bottom can add the new layer here, but if I go up to the top or somewhere in the middle, you can then right click and say insert a new layer. And that will insert the layer in between other layers. Remember you got your layer order when uh, displaying your drawings in model space. can also insert a new layer in the one of the filters. It also has the ability to put a layer in at that location. You can now select a couple of layers. So let's go ahead and select a few. Hold on the shift and select a bunch. I can also I can go now and right click and change the colors of one which will change all of them. So now they'll all be the same color. You 
Here you can see I've got a subdivisional mesh. I'll now go to my view settings and switch on the filling of 3D faces. I'll change the order to depth order. You can now see the object is filled in. You can have a look at it in render view. Change the render settings. We can have a view with the fly around feature, the new feature for circular flying around in the render view. You can also change the smoothness. It's up to you what the smoothness should look like. You can have a look at that in render view and use that new fly around feature inside the render view. Play around with the different uh, render settings. We now have the ability to change a lightweight polyline into a 3D polyline. You can select the entity, you'll see in the properties it's a lightweight polyline. You can then go ahead to Tools, Lightweight Polyline to 3D Polyline. Select it and you'll see now that it creates a curvature to try and match the shape because a 3D polyline does not have arcs in it. There's your lightweight polyline. If we go to redo, you'll see there is your 3D polyline with the curvature. We now have selection cycling. So if multiple entities are exactly on top of each other, you'll be able to choose which one you'd like to select. Here I've selected all three using a crossing selection, so you can see it's selected a line and a polyline. I'll now deselect and select using the mouse pointer. The selection cycling comes up and now I can independently select which item I actually would like to select. Press OK and only that item is then selected. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.